I just moved into a new house and I found a few pieces of paper in the attic with all of this scrawled onto it furiously almost in a demonic handwriting I don't know what they could mean I almost don't want to ask I don't even want to consider the possibility of them being real but I know that if I don't ask it will eat me up I just need to come to a conclusion. This house means everything to me, and I need to feel safe here. Maybe you guys can help. When I look in the mirror, I don't see myself anymore. Sure, it's my body. Sure, I technically see myself, but it's not me. It's not me moving my body. Stop me walking through my house. Stop me that puts food in my mouth. When it started, it wasn't something I even thought about. Maybe a hand movement I didn't really mean to make or turning my bedside light off before bed without consciously thinking that it was time for me to go to sleep. I didn't really think much about it. It's probably just my reflexes, I thought. But it began to do things that were too much against my will. It would jog down the stairs of my house when I was leaving for work. It scared me. I couldn't go to anyone about it though. I would just sound insane. I got a checkup from my doctor's office but everything seemed fine. My body is in good health. But now, this inner turmoil of losing control of my body is the worst it's ever been. Every morning my body gets up on its own. Every morning it turns over and kisses its wife, my wife, and gets out of bed groggily and moves to the kitchen. Every morning, day and night, I sit behind myself, watching myself do things while all I want in the entire world is to be able to take control of my body once more and finally be me again. It's been like this for a month now. You have no idea how truly alarming it is to realize that you have no longer decide what your body do. That you have no control over absolutely anything. At first, you're afraid because even the thought of not being able to speak when you want to speak, say the things you want to say, and do the things you want to do is enough to send shivers down your spine. But then more thoughts come, and they are even worse. If you have no control over your body, you have no control over what it does. It can do anything, any crime, hurt anyone, and it will be your body that did it. You could lose everything and you wouldn't be able to do anything to stop it. This morning started no different than any other. I watched it prepare the same breakfast it had every morning, a poached egg on toast. I wanted to sip coffee in its kitchen, no, my kitchen. I watched it wait for my wife, Erica, to come to the room and greet her pleasantly. I feel my lips smile against my will. I see my wife, my beautiful wife, and I want to vomit. Run, get as far away from it as you can, I want to scream. She has no idea I'd seen this body do. If only she knew. The first time it did something awful, I wanted to die. I truly wanted to stop living. I suppose in retrospect, it really wasn't bad. I've seen horror movies before, but just seeing my own hands do it, hearing my breath quicken, become rapid, feeling the specks of blood splatter across
across my own face, seeing the people's faces as they looked at it, at me in horror, and realizing that it was my body that was killing them. There was nothing I could do to stop it. I begin to try to think of ways that I can possibly try and prevent it. But none have come. Either way, I want to primarily focus on myself. I know it's selfish, but I can't see it all again. I have to at least figure out how to stop myself from seeing it. I begin brainstorming. I didn't sleep anymore. I don't have the ability to dream, to drift from consciousness. I just sit there and wait for my body to sleep and eventually wake up. However, because my body's eyes are closed, I can't see anything. What if I could continue to not see throughout the day, I wonder. I wait patiently for my body to awaken and see what I can do about it. When it awakens, I do my best not to see what it was doing. It's hard, but I have been thinking about how I was going to do this all night long, so it wasn't as jarring as I initially expected. I sometimes forget that I have so much time to myself now. Ironically, a piece of me feels like I have even more control over myself now that I don't have control of my body. About 10 minutes has passed, and I am able to not see what I was doing. Something was occurring though, while I do feel triumphant of my lack of sight, my body seems upset. It wants me to see what it's doing, it wants me to know that it's in charge, that I can't do anything about it. I can feel it wanting to know all of this. I don't know how to describe it, but... It's willing me to know that it owns me. It's angry with me. It's scaring me. I don't know what it wants from me. It's mad. It's really, really mad. It wants me. Oh God, it wants me. Help me. Please, please help me. Help me. I can feel it eating me. Jesus. Christ, please help me, help me, help me, help me, help me. What, what is happening? What, what did I do to deserve this? Why is this happening? Tell Erica I love her. Oh God, it's making me write this as a confession. Help me. It makes me wonder if maybe there's more to this house than I initially thought. I have to keep investigating and look for more notes. It could have, of course, made just be nonsense. Some kid tried to scare the next owner with, but a part of me wants to believe it's more than that. I guess the biggest question is, how did the writer write the pages? All signs lead to it being a hoax, but I want to believe it's more. Maybe it's the romantic in me, I'm not sure.